have this stat, but how many have gone game five? Because I think like every single one. Uh, I, I always I remember them going game five. The most recent game five was SmashCon 2022. Okay. That one actually came off of the back of Mango switching to Falco only for game five. He played Fox Pika the whole time. Wow. Um, and like I said before, at SmashCon in particular, there's been uh, very wild and wacky sets between these guys. I don't know if we'll see the Doc Lee coming in as a counterpick character, but maybe we'll get it. Doc Lee against Pikachu would be funny. I think it'd be, be weird. against Young Link if he does it, but we'll have to see if they're down to clown. Yeah. All right, starts with this one right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah, Axe Sinking trying to in. just read and just go for drop zone up air right there to get the tail spike, but Mango too quick with it. Gets one in response, it's though, right either way. Back. This, yeah, great okay. pickup right Gets there. The full damage on the down smash. Yeah, and I think if you're Axe too, like you care less about the damage that you would get from that and more from the fact that you get knocked down and mixed up. Positioning, yeah. yeah. The goal is always to get the character off stage and then right. that's where you do your conversions. Totally, totally. Okay, Mango looking to pick up with the spike right there. Again, a little bit misspaced, but Axe is a little too clean with it on the quick attack. That's oh, wow, covers it, yep. Sock. See, damage doesn't matter when you get conversions off stage like that. Okay, patient just goes straight to center. That was tricky, and it looked mm -hmm. like Axe kind of messed up on a wave dash forward right there, but still got it to work out. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Pikachu, so it was only for like 3%, but. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great, yes. Really, really good stuff right there. Again, Pikachu. Normals aren't doing a lot, but that'll work for a little while. <laughs> People are going yeah. insane for yeah, ultimate. I think there was the an moment. ultimate upset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ooh, no. The back air in particular is one thing that I really like that Axe has added to his arsenal of approach options. The it was pancake? a huge thing that made, uh, yes, that mm -hmm. made Swift as proficient in, in matchups like these as possible because of the advancing landing hitbox that you get. Mm. Okay, okay, we keep it even. But again, I mentioned, because like the big difference, I think, between Axe and Swift, especially when Swift started breaking onto the scene as the other big Pikachu to look out for, was Axe was the guy that's just gonna like cannonball at you constantly and just nair, nair, nonstop. Uh -huh. Swift was the guy that was mixing in a, a couple other aerials and that landing hitbox is so sick. Yeah, it mixes you up. Okay, let's see if Mayo can get the edge guard and yeah, converts with the forward smash across stage. Game one goes to Mango. All right. Counterpicks are a huge deal here, so this is where we would see potentially the, the switch up if uh, Axe mm. presumably goes to FD. Oh, well, we're not gonna get it, unfortunately. Double shine on shield. Into the down air edge guard. Good stuff from Mango, delaying to cover ledge. Now not opting for the Doc Lee yeah. on FD, just going straight for it. So chain grabs yep. are online. This is essentially like a free kill most of the time, especially if Axe lands it in center. Otherwise, I mean, you just play like one up air tail spike and you're fine, but. Yeah. And you can see Mango being very careful about spacing on shield. Wow, got the laser reset as well. Axe was trying mm -hmm. to momentum cancel with the quick attack, but couldn't get there. Yeah, Axe gonna need to find these grabs. Finds one, but like you said, towards the ledge, so not gonna be as big of a conversion. Yeah, and usually you would do fall off up air right there, but I think he just wanted to go for Nair instead. Still gets the stock either way, but. Yeah. Very powerful up smash. Good DI on that down smash to avoid any further punishment from Mango. Okay. Mango's playing this really clean. And this could be the downside of a stage that's as wide as FD, right? Is Axe is having a hard time finding his way in. He does finally get the grab yeah. off knockdown, though. Okay, you get Nair right yeah. there. That's free kill. Yeah, and Mango DIing away. Anticipating something, but. Okay. I'm hearing a big Axe fan in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> like one. Yell yelling at Axe. It might be yeah. Kate. Yeah. Okay, call out is great. Yeah, take it. Yeah, back wow. row, no. Yeah, the, the forward tilt misses, but still gets a re-grab to continue the edge guard in. Oh, good tech from Mango yeah. makes it back in. 
So that's that's the awkward position right there when you go for the drop zone up air. If you yeah. tail spike the wrong direction, it gives Mango the opportunity to get a tech. Yeah. Oh, he called it out correctly too. That might have been a missed input. I don't know about that. Oh, Mango's looking like he's comboing a Marth right here too. Ooh. Okay. On the counter pick is is uh, a bad omen for Axe, but wow for Mango. Oh, yes. like very good so far. Yeah, and of course you run it right back. But hey, I mean, we saw Sunsei make the reverse 3-0 over Cody, so anything could happen. And Axe putting himself in a position to make it happen with, you know, being able to go back to the stage is typically a guarantee for Axe. Mm -hmm. Just not this last time. Let's we'll see if he can get, get some grabs in. Okay, yeah, spot dodges. Mango knows the game plan. Yeah. Looking out for it. When you know the grab is coming, it's a lot easier to play around it. Yeah, and Pikachu as a character is just hard to get a grab unless you get a knock up like that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much true for the most part, so that should be kill. Yeah, and as always, uh, so if Axe wants the grabs, he's got to threaten with everything else. That's the only way that the, the grabs are going to come. You got to make them worry about everything else. Okay. No jab reset there, but still finds a grab. Again, once again, it's on ledge, yeah. but still converts. Early stock in favor of Axe. Up air, of course, to get off me. Ooh, good tech to stay on stage, but... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, he's kind of expecting Mango to yeah. early jump into that. Oh, out of range. Axe still no jump, so... Yeah, just uses one zip of the quick attack to get to ledge. Okay. But still, I mean, Mango's on close. top, so it keeps it close. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see the damage. It's dead even game. Holy shit, okay. Okay. Grab is such mm. a good position again. But it yeah. keeps happening over on the corner. There's just... Oh, he gave it back to him. Okay. Let's see. Oh, fighting in the center. Ah, right, and then he, right. yeah, he gets the, the air dodge off stage. Okay. So this is Axe's game to lose right now. Oh. Starts with first knockdown. Axe reading it a little bit too far out. Okay, that's gonna be a stock. All right, it's still close. Can Mango 3-0, or is he gonna put himself in a similar position? As Cody, where it was looking good, but then allowing for a potential comeback. Wow, that up air was crazy reversal opportunity right here, but mm. Axe needs to find it again. Looking for that grab, he is fishing. Yeah, and Mango doing some good cross-ups, staying out of range. Oh, dude, oh. imagine. <laughs> Bold. It's big damage. Oh! No shield grab from that, that too. That yeah, a... just wants to get the knockdown again. Oh, but doesn't get the KO. That was a straight-up shield grab. This is close. Oh, finds it on ledge. Mango with the 3-0 victory, continuing to look strong. Axe a little bit slow towards the end there, if I'm being honest. I mean, uh, missed, uh, missed shield grab right there at the end, kind of lazily drifting back, expecting to land onto the ledge as well. Yeah. All that being said, uh, Mango's looking clean, dude. Looking good. Looking good. This is, this is winner's Mango. This is healthy Mango, as people call it. Yes. He's on the elliptical Mango. Mm-hmm. You love to see it, staying on the winner's side. So uh, the projection kind of came to pass that Mango would have to play Cody in top 24. However, uh, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> now it's not Sunsei in top 24 now, tomorrow. So. so Mango looking like he's got a good path. Yeah. Cody going to make loser's bracket extremely difficult for everybody. But good stuff to Mango. Keeping it together, playing well. Oh, yeah. We'll see if he carries that fire over till tomorrow because now he has qualified for top 24. That's right. So our first winner's match of top 24 is Mango Sunsei. I don't think we have any other matches actually confirmed. Uh, Axe right. and Cody, of course, have fallen to loser's side, but their opponents 
We don't know yet. Yeah. So. But uh, going on to the stage now. We got uh, a winner's contender, a winner's top eight contender coming up onto the stage. It's going to be AMSA. 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 Love to see it. I saw him at Tim Hortons this morning over at Timmy's. Is that Timmy's? He was was yeah. he getting the, the dots? Don't they have the Timmy dots, the little balls? I think, I think he got a breakfast sandwich, but I wasn't certain because I picked up my order before uh, before he got his. But it's feeling good overall. Of course, uh, had the great run at Genesis X recently. Couldn't uh -huh. get there against Cody. Again, that's been a historically hard matchup for him. Great set, by the way, that they had over at Genesis. Right. Um, and Ops is going to be Zane. playing yeah. Aklo, which is, uh, I believe, Ooh. as projections were supposed to be as well. This should be for top 24. Yes. Um, Aklo was on the same flight as me coming in, uh, so we did get to talk a little bit about this. He knew that he was projected to play against AMSA. Feels pretty confident for the most part. He said mm -hmm. it's definitely doable. I think he, I believe he won at Shine, the last Shine, against mm -hmm. him when he got third at that yeah. tournament. Um, Aklo definitely capable. Yeah, and I mean, this is just like a weird situation, right, where Aklo was pretty under at this tournament, mm -hmm. if I'm being completely honest, but that's okay. also off the back of like not amazing performances uh, in 2024. What was Aklo's seed? It was like you know, 11, it was like, 11? no, 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 it was like lower than that, I oh, want to wow. say. Wow. Yeah. Because okay. I remember seeing the initial seeding graphic and then like five people replied on Twitter and said Aklo was robbed <laughs> or something like that, so. Mm -hmm. But we shall see. I mean, the Shine set is one that comes to mind where Akla was able to do it. Amsa historically has a pretty rough time against the the nutcase foxes of Cody and Moki. So yes. this one might be a little bit different just because uh, Akla likes to slow the pace down. Yeah, it gives Amsa room to breathe. But at the same time, it's not like Akla leaves himself very open. Mm -hmm. He slows the pace down, but he's making every hit count. How are you feeling? What are you feeling about this? I, I think Akla has got a solid shot, and I'm not just saying that. I think I've always appreciate the patient Fox play style against characters like Yoshi. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, frankly put, Yoshi's not as good as Fox as a character. And typically, it was a phrase that we would use back in the days, but you would better character the opponent. Sure. And, uh, like, Aklo does employ a type of play style where he could get away with that. Now, this is a different beast, right? <laughs> to say that again, uh, yeah, Amsa is a different kind of beast, <laughs> for real, <laughs> unlike Falco. And um, yeah, like that patient play, it might be that all you're doing is giving Amsa time to download. Also, giving I gotta say Amsa it. Amsa time to find an approach. Aklo's wearing glasses, and Amsa just got that, that eye procedure done. Ah. Glasses versus no glasses. I see. It could be an advantage. It's like uh, a freaking, what's that, one anime? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Full Metal Alchemist, the, the, <laughs> the okay. rule of this exchange or something? I, I don't know what it's called, something like that. Okay. I'm going to well, try to talk about I'm gonna anime believe you. every time I'm on the mic. I, Last uh, time it was Avatar, this time it's going to be equivalent exchange. Is that what they call it? I mean, that's like, like thermo. Yeah, so in some ways, but yeah, I can yeah, say, but we can anime, say it's anime. Like thermo, we can say it's but anime. anime. <laughs> yeah. And Amsa gained eyes and Aklo lost them. I don't know. <laughs> but all right. So <laughs> that's, what, that's what's happening here. That's yeah. what you're getting at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he can see the path to victory going up here. And true. Right. Next time I'm gonna do a I'll do a Dragon Ball reference next time. Dragon Ball I actually watched. Okay. I'm all Mexican, right. so <laughs> Of course I watched oh it. Oh my god, dude. Of course I watched it. So unfortunately, Akla's not wearing the I Heart Hot Mom shirt today. So and why I, was he wearing this? So he had done a, a stream challenge with Cody, actually. Uh -huh. It was like some type of Iron Man equivalent where it was the loser had to wear the IP and Pools hat. And originally the shirt was the, the Granny Popsicle meme.